Hey everybody, it is Talitha here, the Natural Hair Confidant, here with another video, day two of 2020 Clarity, giving you the exact clarity you need to figure out why your hair is not growing back. So if you have been trying to grow your hair back and it's not growing get back, get this 2020 Clarity so that you can understand why your hair is not growing back and what exactly it is that you need to do about it. So let's jump right into day two. For those of you that don't know me and you stumbled upon this video somehow, some way, I am on a mission to help 1,000 women a year grow their hair back from traction alopecia, severe traction alopecia, women similar to this. And over the next 20 days, I am going to be giving you the 2020 clarity so that you can understand, one, if you've been trying to grow your hair back and it's not working, it's not your fault. If you thought the hair industry wanted you to fail, you're probably right. Three, because of all the products out there claiming to grow your hair back, you probably think you're gonna be stuck like this forever. That's not true. Four, by the end of this 2020 clarity, you will know exactly why your hair isn't growing back and exactly what it is that you need to do about it. So let's jump right into today's program. This is the second part of the ripple effect. So if you haven't seen the first ripple effect, which was shock loss, make sure you go back and watch video one. The second ripple effect is the wig. Your wig is a hair growth killer. How? Let me explain it to you. Let me tell you a quick story real quick. So for those of you who don't know, I am on a mission to help 1,000 women every year fill in their bald spots from severe traction alopecia. And I wanna share a quick story about how I was able to help women grow hair in their bald spot, even though they hadn't had growth in that spot for years. So they tried millions of products, didn't work, and by this time, I had been in my business for maybe like six months to like a year. I started my business in 2017. And the problem was, there was some women that were having growth and some women that were not. I didn't quite understand why this was happening. It made me feel like I was scamming people. How can I be selling the oil to all these people and then half of them are not even having the growth that they expected to have, right? And I had promised them that they were gonna have growth. So there was no way that I was gonna be able to sell this oil to people and not know if it was gonna work. That was just absolutely against everything that I stood for. Then I started to get these angry emails from customers saying this crap ain't working, I want my money back. In my mind, there's no way that I can sell a product that only helped half of the people that I sold it to and was trying to help. The original goal was to help them grow their hair back, not just take their money. I felt horrible, but I knew I needed to find out why some were having growth and some were not. Because me just selling it to half of the people and only working was absolutely against everything that I stood for in my business and ethically. It just didn't feel good. I was there. So I discovered that there was a complete difference in hair care techniques you would use when you want to grow your hair back versus when you want to grow that your hair longer. At that point, everything changed. I discovered that wearing a wig as a protective style when you have a bald spot, make your bald spot bigger. Your wig has officially turned into a hair growth killer. Now, I know many of you are kind of like, but I thought a wig was a good protective style. It is. It is a good protective style for people with healthy hair follicles. When your hair follicle has gone through a period of shock loss, if you have not seen video one, you need to go back and watch it so that you can learn what shock loss is and how it is affecting your hair follicles and your hair growth and what they went through. Make sure you go back and check it out. But when your hair follicles experience a state of shock and become dormant, that means that they're not active, they're not working, you're not getting in any increased blood circulation. So what is happening is, you are putting on a wig because you've experienced shock loss half of your head is missing its hair so what now has happened is you've put on a wig cap you have your hair then you have the actual netting of the wig even if it's breathable weavable it's still a netting that's covering your wig cap and your hair then you have the net then you have the hair now, what all of that does is it creates an area that will create moisture, meaning you're going to sweat. I don't know how many of you have worn wigs or not, but they are hot. Oh my God. And especially in the summertime, they get very hot. So 
once your hair starts to sweat, which is a normal process that happens in our scalp. When your wig is not there, what happens is the sweat will evaporate immediately. When the wig is there, what happens is the sweat will sit on your scalp. Even if your wig claims that it's breathable and it allows air to get in there, the sweat is still going to skip sit on your scalp until it has the opportunity to evaporate. When it's sitting on your, your scalp, there is an, a chemical that is in our sweat called lactic acid. Lactic acid is defined as but what that does to your scalp is it kills keratin now what keratin is is it is the strong protein that makes up your hair it gives your hair its strong structure so imagine if you have a building and your building is built on a strong foundation and you have a ball that comes in like that game, that Tetris game with that ball. Ping, 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 ping. This is what's happening with the sweat that is sitting on your keratin. It's going from hair fog, hair, hair strand to hair strand, killing the inside of the structure. And once you kill the inside of a structure, structure, it weakens. This is why your hair follicle has. This is why your hair is starting to recede even worse than when you was experiencing shock loss. So now, not only are your hair follicles went through a state of shock, become dormant, blood circulation has decreased, now you're killing your hair from the inside out from whatever hair that's left. So it's gonna be widespread loss. So now that you know that you're killing your hair follicles from the inside out, the next ripple effect that it has caused is the inability for your hair follicles to absorb healthy ingredients. So make sure you come back on day three. I have a question submitted by one of the viewers and she would like to know how do you comb your hair if your hair is thinning? So I have some amazing tips on um, things that you guys can do to decrease breakage and strengthen your strand. So make sure you come back for day three. I'm so excited to give you this 2020 clarity. Until then, I wish y'all the most growth. Take care.